we don't have to solve. So um, let's start with this one. Twice a number plus three times the second number is negative one. The first number plus four times the second number is two. Find the numbers. So first of all, I'm going to divide the number. Let x and y be the number we looking for. I'm looking for. Let me do one sentence at a time. Twice a number plus three times the second number is negative one. Can someone translate that into a math equation? Anyone translate that into a equation? Twice the number, so it'll be what? 2x, right? Plus or plus. Three times a second number, so three y, because the second, the second number is y. Is mean equal negative one. Negative one. Twice, twice the number plus three times the second number is negative one. And then the second sentence say, first number plus four times the second number is two. Okay, you, you should be able to tell me what, what this sentence means so in that equation. Plus four. Thank you both. Yeah, that's it. That's one sentence at a time. Right? We're not, they, they say don't solve, so we're not gonna solve. But I think that's the hardest part, like come up with a system of equations. Solving is not bad. Number two, Jen and David owe 22,000 in loans for their two cars. The amount of loan for Jen's car is 2,000, less than twice the amount of the loan for David's car. How much is car loan? So first of all, you're gonna define the variable. Let J, I'm gonna do J and D for Jen and David, so that I remember things better. The, the loan of, I'm sorry, loan for, loan amount for, for Jen and David's car respectively. Respectively, you have to have the word respectively so they know that which one is which. All right, this one's a bit twisted tongue. First one, not so bad. First one, let me highlight the first one. The amount of loan for Jen's car is, uh, you know, the first one will be Jen and David owe 22,000 in loan. So, how would I do? How would I? How would I write that in an equation? Pick two. How would I write that in an equation? Yeah, yeah, J plus D equal 22,000, right? J plus D equal 22,000. Remember what J and what's D, right? JD are the amount of loan they borrowed. They own 22,000, so J plus D equal 22,000. And then the second, the second, second the sentence say, the amount of loan for Jen's car is 2,000 less than twice the amount of David's car. Very good. J, uh, J Jenny's car, so J is mean equal 2,000 less. So something subtract 2,000. Right? Less than twice the amount of loan for David's car. So twice the amount of David's car will be 2D.
Do you have any questions so far? It's like, it, it is the hardest part, like come up with equations, but it, it takes time, it takes practice. Do one sentence at a time. Don't, don't try to do all of it in your head at once. Um, just out of curiosity, we're not gonna solve for this, but if I were to ask you to solve for this, what, what method would you solve? Yeah, so you could J already solve for, right? All you have to do is just shove a J into the blue equation. Uh, you try one. You try. Come on. Should have printed up. Um, I think it is twenty three. Negative 23 and seven here. Yeah, do not solve. All you have to do is come up with come up with the system of equations. The sum of two number is negative twenty three. The first number you know by x is seven. Less than. So, so sorry about that. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ethan. Seven less than. Let's look at the number without looking at the word. We only have two you try today, so we might not have time to three of them. All right, um, objective two, now we're gonna actually solve after we generate those equations. So let me, uh, let me walk through the step. It's very similar to what we've, we've been doing. First of all, read the whole problem. Read the whole problem, it helps. Um, and then assign the variable to the quantity that you're looking for. 
please assign the variables. Okay, you lose a point or two. It's like silly points. Even the whole thing's wrong, I'll still give you partial credit for just assigning the variable. Um, and then write two equations. You need two equations with two variables. And then solve you watch every method that 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 flow your boat. I recommend not using graphing because uh, eyeballing is, is not the best way to do it. And then state the answer in context. Make sure you check answer if it makes sense. Okay. Make sure your answer is making sense. All right. Jake dad is six more than three times Jake's age. Um, the sum of their age is 42 by their ages. So first thing first, let uh, J and D be the ages of Jake and dad respectively. You can use Y, X and Y. It's just easier for me to remember which is which when I do the initial. All right, the first sentence, maybe I'll, maybe, maybe this is the easy one. The sum of the age is 42. So that means what? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> J plus D equal 22. And then you need one more, you need one more. See what it say. The se the second second one, Jake's dad is six more than three times Jake's age. So, mm -hmm. so, so J J Jake so Jake's dad will be what D right? That Jake dad. Forty two. Uh, forty two. I say two. Sorry about that. Thank you. Did I say twenty two or forty two? Yes. I don't know where it comes from. Thank you. Daydreaming. I was thinking many things in my head while I'm talking to you. Um, D, uh, J, 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 S means, oh, we didn't know D, is mean equal six more than three times J's A. So do what? Yeah, three J plus six. What methods we using? Yeah, substitution. So we're gonna substitute this. in here, right? Into that little blue deed there. So this, I have J plus three J plus six equal 42. If you remove the parentheses, it's just a plus in front. So we're not gonna change the size. So J, one J plus one J is one J plus three J is four J plus six equal 42, subtract six. 42 minus six is 36, divided by, by four, uh, divide both side by four, nine. So nine years old. Don't forget the unit. This is J, this is the, the sun. And then there, you see that. Now, all you have to do is what? You plug in there, you plug in here. You plug J equal nine into that red equation. So um, let's see how I wanna do this. I'm just gonna, I, I'm gonna bring that like this. So D equal three times J, which is nine plus six. How old is that? Three times nine is 18, 18 plus, I'm sorry, 3 times 9 is 27. 27 plus 6 is 33 years old. <clears throat> Do you have any question on number one? I'll give you a second to copy that down.
All right, number four, two containers of gasoline holds a total of 50 gallons. The big container holds 10 gallons less than twice uh, the small container. How many gallons does each container hold? So again, we can uh, define the variable, let B and S, big and small. B. What, 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 what is that? What I'm looking for, be the what? No. Oh yeah, not wrong, but, but, but more, more spe specific. Gallons, right? It's the gallons. The gallons, be the gallons of a big container, big and small. I don't have enough space, big and small. Containers, respectively. You can do X and Y, A and B. I have to do the initial so I don't, I don't forget. Easier to keep track. Okay. Two containers of gasoline hold total of 50 gallons. So this should be easy. Do what? B plus S equal 50, right? 50. And then the second sentence said, the big container holds 10 gallons less than twice a small container. No, I should do it in red, my bad. Otherwise you won't see what I'm writing in green. So the red, the red, the red highlighted what, how would I interpret it? The, the big container is B. Holds, holds, so E is equal. 10 gallons less than twice the small one. So that'll be what? Is 2s minus 10 or 10 minus 2s? Yeah, 2s minus 10, be careful. Even though it say it's 10 gallons come first, but it say less than, so subtract 10, 10 2s minus 10. Um, you solve it, I'll walk around here. What you got? People uh, from Zoom, please solve the problem for, and then put the answer in the chat privately. Maybe I forgot to do so. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Mm -hmm. Give me a second, I'll just try something. I might not. Sam said, uh, you try two, it's not there. Will you try one there? Okay. Oh. This one has it. I'm gonna forgot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go straight to uh, Wednesday. Did this one have it? Oh, darn it. All right. I'm gonna delete you try two, it's not there. Maybe we'll move faster without you touching. What you got? See people in the chat. Um, Madison got. Uh, what is it? The, the the small one is twenty gallons. The the big one is thirty gallons. Megan got a big one, fifteen gallons. We have two different answers here. What you guys have? Uh, 
Oh, okay, so same thing with medicine. Good job. So thank you, Megan. Uh, maybe you want to check your competition. Cool. I'll do real quick. You use substitution, right? So this is instead of B, it's going to be it's going to be two S minus ten plus S equal fifty. Um, two S plus one S right here is three S. I shouldn't put minus 10 equal 50 at 10. So three S equal 60 divide both side by three. The small one equal 20 grams. And then the big one. Now this one right here, B equal two times, the small one is 20 gallons. Minus 10, 40 minus 10 is 30. Don't forget your units. Okay. One point. We box the blue one as well. Very good. <clears throat> we're going to do number five, but we're going to skip number six. No, we, we're gonna skip number five. We're gonna do number six. Skip number five, we're gonna do number six. By the way, we did this one before. Do you guys remember the elliptical turner and the circuit turner? Last lecture, we kind of, they kind of gave us the equation, but, but let's let's do ourselves. Don't, don't look back, let's do ourselves. Jenna spent 10 minutes on the elliptical turner and 20 minutes, sorry, 20 minutes on the set of training and burn total of 278 calories. She burned 473 calories after 20 minutes on the elliptical trainer and 30 minutes on the circuit training. How many calories does she burn for each minute on the elliptical trainer and for each minute of the circuit training? So first thing first, let E elliptical and circuits, E and C. E and C, B, B the what? What we're looking for? Cal calories that Jenna burn, right? Calories. Calories. Uh calories. Burn. Calorie burn. Using elliptical trainer. It's gonna be a mouthful. Clitical trainer. And Circuit training, circuit training, respectively. Okay, one point. So we have two scenarios here, two different times she spent on the elliptical versus the circuit training and have two different calories um, being burned. So see, 10 minutes on the elliptical and 20 minutes on the circuit training, she burned 278. So it's gonna be what? It's gonna be you know, uh, maybe I should have modified my uh, my, my def definition of E and C. E and C is the calorie burn for each minute. For each minute. Let me put in yellow here for each min minute. It more precise. Each minute. So, so each minute she burned. Yeah, for each minute she burned E for electrical training and C for circuit training. Okay, so the first sentence that I highlight in blue so will be what? The 10 minutes, so 10 E, right? 10 E. So each minute she burn E calorie. Then 10 minutes is gonna be 10 E plus um, 20 C equal 278. Does anyone have a, a question of how I come up with 10 E and 20 C?
right i assume that you can clear on that and then the second scenario where she burned 473 calorie if she spent 20 minutes on the elliptical trainer and 30 minutes on the circuit training so it's going to be uh, 20 e plus 30 c equal 473 What methods do you suggest I should I use? Yeah, elimination, right? Uh, I'm gonna choose eliminate E. Somebody else could have chosen eliminate C, but, but a bit more work. So I'm gonna multiply the top by negative two, negative two. So now I have a new equation, new system of equation. It's gonna be negative 20 E minus 40 C equal seven eight eight seven six but five is it um five five six yeah thank you uh, ne negative thank you negative and then negative 20 e and just bring the red one over uh plus 30 c equal 473 let me add them up Term by term, so that's gone. So we want it has to be. Now I got negative twenty c equal three. Negative uh, negative ten. What's wrong with me today? Negative ten. And then what's five five six? Um, negative five five six plus four seven three. Three, eight, negative eight, negative eighty three. Divide both sides by negative ten. C is eight point three calorie. So for each minute on the circuit training, she burned eight point three calories. And don't stop it right there. We need to figure out what's E. So twenty E plus 30 times 8.3 equal 473. You could have picked the first equation. It's, it's, it's okay, okay? It's just convenient for me because it's already on the bottom. What 30 times 8.3? 249, is that it? Like neat. <laughs> and then subtract 249. Two twenty-four. Twenty e equal two twenty-four. Mm. Yes. Or seventy-three minus two twenty-four. Divide by twenty. Eleven point two. Eleven point two. Calories. Let me box them up. Do you have any questions so far? Before I jump to the geometric geometry um, application. All right, complementary um, complementary angles. When we talk about complementary and angles, that means the two end, 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 angles add up to ninety degrees. Complementary angles. These two angles add up to ninety degrees. Supplementary angles is two angles add up to one hundred eighty degrees. So remember the terminology, okay? Because on the not on the I don't know yet. But uh, if, if there's something like this on the final, and then they say complementary or supplementary, you have to know which is which, otherwise you come up with wrong equation. Okay. <clears throat> but 
By the way, uh, let me tell you how I denote my angles. If you see me writing like this, maybe a uh, note. The, the, the capital letter with a hat on top. So this is angles A. And then B hat will be angle B. It has to be capital. The capital will be for angle with the hat. So two angles are complementary. The measure of a larger angle is 12 less than twice the measure of a smaller angle. <coughs> so I have the measure of both angles. Again, I'm gonna use A and capital A and capital B. Let A hat and B hat be two angles I'm looking for. Again, one step at a time. Two angles are complementary. So what, what does that mean? Yeah. Let me highlight in there. Uh, uh, I don't want something different. So I don't want you to, yeah. I don't want you to think that I'm, I'm have any, any relationship with the one I highlighted in the problem. So that means A hat plus B hat equal 90 degree. The measure of a larger angle is 12 less than twice the measure of a smaller angle. Suppose A is larger, I'm just gonna say, here yeah, A is larger. A hat is larger. The larger angle, so A hat, right? Larger angle is A hat is mean equal, A hat is mean equal, 12 less than twice the measure of a smaller, so that'll be, so, someone tell me what is it, we what? It'll be, yes, thank you, 2B minus 12. Solve by substitution. I'm gonna substitute two B hat minus twelve into the blue one for A. So this is two B hat minus twelve for A hat, and then plus B hat equal ninety degree. Two B hat plus one B hat three B hat minus twelve equal ninety degree. Subtract. Let's be the key here. Three. At 12. So 3B equal, 3B hat equal 102. If I go side by 3B hat equal, is it a fraction? Oh, 34. 34. Degree, don't forget the degree. And then A. A hat equal two, well, B hat is 34 minus 12. 68 minus 12 is 56. For number for A, I'm going to help you a little bit, but I want you to come up with the equation. Okay. So let's 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 draw a picture together and then you, you on your own come up with your equations. And I'll walk around, see how you do. Wayne is hanging a string of light 45 feet. Uh, 45 feet in length around three sides of this rectangular patio with its adjacent to his house. The length of his patio is the same as the length of the house and, and it's five feet longer than twice its width. Find the length and the width of the patio. If you don't understand, that's fine. That's fine. We go back and read one sentence at a time. Now, so 
he Wayne tried to hang some string around the, the patio, right? And I know that one of the patio side is connect to the house. So the patio is what 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 shape of the patio here? Rectangular. So just draw a rectangular. And maybe, maybe this part right here, maybe this part right here connect to the house, the one in red. Whichever, whichever one. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna call so because it's a rectangular, I'm gonna I'm gonna denote, I'm gonna denote this is width and this is length. You can do X and Y, but because of the rectangular, I like to do it in width and length. Okay. Um, you have to be careful. Okay, maybe I'll say. A J. How do I? A J. A J. A J. A J. This J. Adjacent. So here's your house. Here's the house. Here's the the, the length that connects to the house. I want you to come up with this equation. I'll walk around and see how you do it. Just the equations. So you, don't, you don't have to start yet. That was the easy sentence. I'll tell you what the easy sentence is. The easy sentence is the second sentence. Please start with that. It's not that hard, just read carefully. Remember, three sides, not four. How do you cover the positive The okay, I'll, I'll start with the easy one. Um, the easy one is the second sentence. So the length of his patio, oops, it's a little bit better. The length of his patio is the same as the length of the house and is five feet longer, longer than twice its width. So the one in blue, length is L, 
five feet longer than twice the width. So two W plus five. Most people get that right. The first sentence is, he's hanging a, a string of light 45 feet around three sides of the rectangular patio, three sides, right? So what's the three sides? This one, this one, and this one, right? So the other one is next to the house. So that means W plus W, I mean, plus L plus W equal 45. The string is 45 feet. And then you saw, maybe, uh, maybe simplified it a little bit. So L equal two W plus five. And then the, the bottom one is gonna be one W plus one W is two W plus L equal 45. U substitution. So this right here, two W plus L now is two W plus five equal 45. Yeah, I don't need the parentheses. The, the, as you know, I'm gonna put the parentheses just, just, to, just to make a good habit out of you. Because sometimes you have a minus in front of them, that means the minus go into every individual. So I'm gonna put the, the parentheses, just, just establish a good habit. 2w plus 2w is 4w plus five equal 45. Subtract five, so 4w equal 40, w equal 10. Feet. They get 10 feet. And then you want to solve for the length right here, the length L equal now L equal 2W, which is times 10. Plus 5. 20 plus 5, 25. Eight. You're done. Do you have any questions before I um, close up this section? So we're done the session. But we, but we need to, um, I'm trying to see how many pages I can go on the 5.5. So hang in there. We still have 10 minutes or so. How is it? How are you guys feeling? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, usually, okay. Sorry to do this to you, but the only way that we have that pre date to review. All right, session 5.5 .5 is mixture of problems. Um, I kind of, I kind of have a good. I'm, I got a good hint that we're going to have this on the exam because it's a good problem for nursing, nursing people. That's why we decided to put it on the exam, at least in the past. Um, so, so focus on this section. So the past year is always on the final exam because, it, it's because of a nursing program. All right, uh, mixture problem. I'm going to go straight to the uh, problem. So the box, the box optics, let me highlight something here, section 5.5, remind me to unmute the homework. By the way, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna extend your homework um, deadline for, for this week until like Sunday night, okay? So, because 5.5, .5, we're not gonna finish until Wednesday. Wednesday. So I, I'll give you some time, don't worry. The box office is, the box office at the theater sold 147 tickets and the receipt total of $1,302. Adult tickets cost $11 and child ticket cost $8. Find the number of child tickets and the number of adult tickets. So here they define the variable for us. We me highlight in black because we always write in black. Let A be the number of adult tickets and C be the number of children tickets. Right here, A and C. 
How much the adult tickets cost? Eleven, right? Eleven dollar for adult, and then children is uh, eight dollars. So the total value will be eight times eleven is eleven a. Eight times c is eight c. It's kind of nice when you have this little charge. Huh? <laughs> it's kind of nice. If not, then just read the problem and highlight like I did, like one sentence at a time. Okay, let's translate into system of equation and solve. So what do we have here? We have, let me highlight something. Um, they sold total of 147 tickets. So what does that mean? Good, combined adult and children tickets is 147. So that means in equation is, is in equation is, How would I write it in equation? Adult tickets plus children tickets is 147. So what letter we 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 use for adult ticket? A, right? A for adult, C for children. So adult tickets plus children ticket with the C is equal to 147 ticket. So that's the first equation. You need one more. How much they make in revenues? Yeah, that's how much they make, which is right here. That's total value, right? So that will mean 11A plus AC equal $1,002. Um, you you want to solve using elimination or substitution? Doesn't matter, but which one you like? Substitution, okay. So that mean um, you're gonna solve, I'm gonna solve for A here, move the C to the right hand side, 147 minus C. Somebody could have do C equal 147 minus A, doesn't matter. And then substitute into the red one, 11 times A, A now is 147 minus C plus A C equal 1302. I'm gonna, give you a half, uh, just let, let me do it. So distribute, because this, this one is kind of complicated. I want to walk you through. 11 times 147 is, say again, Sean? Six. One, one number at the time, six what? Uh, one, six, one, seven. One, six, one, seven, thank you. And minus 11C plus 8C equal one, three, oh, two. Combine like term, negative 11C and positive AC, that's yeah, negative 3C. And then you subtract 16, 17. I got negative three, one, five. Divide both side by three or negative three. C equal one, oh, five. Ticket. Don't forget the unit, ticket. So the number of tickets they sell for children is 100, 105 tickets. And now, A equal 147 minus 105 minus C, so minus 105. What is it? 242. Must be a children movie. Do you have any questions so far? All right, answer the following. What is the revenue from the adult tickets? Do you guys understand what revenues mean? 
the money they earn. Money they earn. Uh, plus the profit. Well, um, the principal plus the profit. So they call this revenue. So what's the revenue from the adult ticket? Do you, do you know how many tickets they sold, right? They sold, yeah, 42. There's 42 tic adult tickets is, so, is, are sold. Let me, uh, maybe I'll write in black or red. And then how, how, how much each ticket? 11, right? So that'll be 462 dollars. That's how much they make selling adult tickets. And then the revenue from the children ticket, they sold 105 tickets and then $8 each per kit. So $840. So the total revenue will be you add up together. It should be what? How much do you, how much you expect it should be without even? Yeah, it's supposed to be a thousand three hundred or two dollars, right? Right there. Is it? Yeah. It has to be. Otherwise, if they're not equal to that number, then go back and check your math. That's how much they make in the beginning. That's what they told in the beginning. Yeah. So it's verify the answer. Yes. Hey, we on time. I'm trying to do two pages. So last page. Last page. You have a collection of nickels and quarters with a total value of $7.30. The number of nickel is six less than less than three times the number of quarters. How many nickels and how many quarters do you have? Okay, so nickel is the note N. And then a quarter denote Q. What's the value of a nickel in terms of a dollar? A five cents. So how do I write it in math? Hmm? Yeah, point zero five. And then quarter will be yeah, quarter point two five. Total value, you multiply them. So point oh five and and then point two five Q. And how much the total value? How much is it? If you add them together, how much is it? Yeah. Seven dollar and thirty cents. Okay, that's that's one equation. So the, that equation, the red one is point oh five N plus point two five Q equals seven point thirty. And then we need the blue one. That's the red one. And now comes with the blue one. So one tell me what the blue one is. Should be easy. Nickel, so N is mean equal six less than three times. The number of quarters will be what? Yeah, three Q minus six. Substitution, right? Substitution. Point oh, um, point oh five. No, it's a zero. Point oh five, and and now is. 3q minus 6 plus 0.25q equal 7.30. 0 0.05 times 3 is, yeah, 0.15q. Uh, 0 0.05 times minus 6, so 0 0.3, 0 0.3 plus 0.25q. And then um, you can buy like term, that with that. That's 0.4, right? 0.4 Q minus 0.3 equals 7.30. Add 0.3, add 0.3 right out for you here. That's one. 0.4 Q equals 
All right, what? Six euro, mm -hmm. 30 cents. Divide both sides by point four. Is it that? Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. 19? 19, yeah. 19 quarters. Q is quarters, yeah, Q is quarters, 19 quarters. Um, and then substitute into the blue one to find the number of nickel. And equal three times 19 minus six. What three times 19? Seven, 57 minus six. Almost there. What is the value of the quarters? Well, 25 cents. Uh, point of, uh, let me see. Let me here, point two five. Make sure you put a dollar sign in front of it. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. If you say point two five, point two five of what? Okay, the unit is dollar. Um, the value of nickel will be point oh five. Total value is, oh, I have to multiply, Donna. I have to multiply with um, quarter is 19, nickel is 51 of them. So $4.75 for the quarter and $2.55 for the nickels. Yay, we on time, that's my plan. And total will be, if you add them together is, it has to be $7.30. And All right, so next time it's gonna be um, 5.4 and 5.5 .5 again. Remember 5.4, there are two parts. You need, you need uniform motion. And this. All right, have a good one, and I'll see you later, some of you. So on the eighth, you don't have it. That's a steady day. Thank you.